In the early hours of a Sunday morning, Julie Ferrara is on an urgent mission. If these dogs aren't adopted, they're in jeopardy to be euthanized. It's that simple. Julie is the founder of Light, Long Island Greyhound Transfer, a volunteer group that helps move dogs from the track into homes. Right now we're driving to get six very lucky dogs. We don't pick the dogs. Uh, most people, if you said, oh, pick a dog, they would go by aesthetics, color. We don't allow that. We only go by personality. These dogs have traveled south from a New Hampshire dog track to be placed with families on the East Coast. All right, big guy. The dogs are given a quick walk before being transferred to the van for a trip to a grooming shop where an all-volunteer group is waiting for them. Okay, we have six. It's a small load, but I think it's good. It's little Candy. She's, uh, you know, a little scared, but she'll be okay. Hi, oops, watch the door. <laughs> they don't know glass. There's dogs and there's greyhounds. It's just very, very different because of the track training that they know nothing of home life. The first time she's seeing her reflection, she's like, this, everything is new. It's like a, it's like a baby. It's like a, it's like a baby. It really is. These dogs stay in cages for long periods of time. The only time they let out is when they have to relieve themselves or for racing, which is only about twice a week or three or four days. So basically, they're in cages for two, three, four, five years of their life. The volunteers quickly go to work getting the dogs ready for the new owners. Feeding, shampooing, and deticking. This is a, a, a all-volunteer run organization. They get up in the middle of the night, two, three, four o'clock in the morning to be there to help us wash, walk, feed. We couldn't do it without them. We could not do anything without the volunteers. Lemonhead was supposed to go to a foster home, but Holly Clocus, one of the regular volunteers, decides to adopt her and give her a permanent home. She absolutely fell in love with that dog. My husband said, oh, we have to do it in a very serendipitous fashion. And uh, she's not spoken for. So I think that, that's serendipity, right? Oh, she's loving that. Maybe, maybe you'll change your mind, you won't take her. <laughs> this is what happens, our foster dogs don't make it too far into foster care. They wind up, Long Island Greyhound Transfer, we have our best customers right here. The dogs are once again loaded into the van, this time for a visit to the vet where they're examined and spayed or neutered. After that, it's on to be adopted. The biggest myth is that these dogs are nervous, hyper, high strung, totally, totally, Wrong. That's why we call them 45 mile an hour couch potatoes. They appreciate what you give them. Tuesday is adoption day. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Families and dogs file in and the paperwork is filled out. I'm putting a copy of your adoption agreement right into your folder. After the checks are written and new tags issued, the adoption is complete. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keep us most of the Lemonhead is now officially part of the family, and she's going home for the very first time.